What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Let me get right to the point here. So we, we're pretty much in within the first week of the first year. And what's on my mind at the moment is this. A lot of times in our heads, we can waste time thinking that we're going to do it next week. We're going to do it tomorrow. We're always prolonging the thing that we're going to do. But really, when you think down and get down to the nitty gritty, do you really have that kind of time? You know, I'm sitting here thinking about how my life went last year. And I remember I was in Denver, Colorado. I get a call from my wife and she's bawling on the phone. And I'm thinking to myself, what is this all about? She couldn't even get the words out. And I'm thinking, oh, God, what's wrong? What's wrong? Is she sick? Is something about to happen? And what she told me was, is that her aunt, which at that time, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken, was only 43 years old in Vegas, getting ready to do a, um, a fitness competition had passed away. Totally hit me blindsided. So then, you know, I'm after I'm trying to process that, I pull up her bio. And one thing I saw on a page, when I went to a page, a Facebook page, I saw all these people saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because she touched a lot of lives by training individuals to have these fitness transformations. I saw all the competitions and everything she was in, and I was like, wow, she accomplished that much at 43 years old. And some people will say she went too early. But I will say, who in the hell promised you that we will live until we're 80 and 90 uh, more years old. Who told you that? Isn't it somewhat arrogant to think that you're going to live that long? We're, we're always saying things like, oh, I'll get to that. I'm too young. Later on down the road, I'll figure that out. I'm trying to have fun in life right now. I'm not trying to worry about the serious stuff. That's arrogant. It's arrogant. Who in the heck has given you the permission to speak on something that you have no knowledge of? We're in a planet that doesn't belong to us. We occupy space that doesn't belong to us. But yet, we tell ourselves somehow that we have our whole lives ahead of us. Well, that's somewhat true because you don't know what that whole life is. That whole life could be two weeks from now. But we're spending so much time trying to figure it out. Figure it out. But we don't understand that our kids could become ill. Our parents could become ill. Where they may need our help physically and financially. We don't have that time. The time is now. But we always try to get prepared and, and get ready to go. And like, ah, I got I to gotta get this degree before I start. I have to get this marketing certification before I start. I have to do this and this and this. Damn it, just start. We don't have that kind of time. And the main thing that's probably driving this mentality is that somehow we think that it has to be perfect. We're addicted to perfection. We put down others if they're not perfect. We call them dumb. They can't figure it out if they're not perfect. But when did we learn that perfection actually exists? I want you to close your eyes for a second. 
Now, I know what some Christians may say. Well, Jesus was perfect. That may have been true. But we're not talking about Jesus right now. I want you to not think about Jesus and think about anything else outside of that. And I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think of something that you know is perfect. And before you close your eyes, you may say, oh, what a new car. What about a new car? They break down. Uh, what about my mom? She's eventually going to pass away or she passed away. We, we, we all fall short. What about this? Well, I had this dresser. It was leaning to the left a little bit. <laughs> I mean, anything you see or think about. Oh, I remember these curtains. I guarantee you a piece of thread was hanging from it. Einstein was called a dummy by his teachers. One of his instructors said, you're, you're the most, I, I, I can't even say the, the word, but you're the, you're the most unintelligent man that has ever been in my presence. The most smartest man in the world, what some will say. But his instructors, his professors didn't think that. And at one time, Einstein didn't think that because it's untrue. He wasn't the most um, intelligent man that ever lived because he fell short. You see, because here's the thing. What I'm trying to say is there is no such thing as perfection. So stop trying to reach something that's not there, that doesn't exist. Start now. Who cares about who puts you down and who thinks you're that? Who cares? Because guess what? They don't know what they're talking about. They don't understand what they're talking about. Right? I want you to focus on showing up every day and doing your best at that moment. You'll learn to get better later on. Show up and learn to get better. That's all you got to do. So don't sit around and beat yourself up and say you're not this and, and compare yourself to others. Get out there. Do your best. And make it happen. So I wanted to just go ahead and give you these encouraging words and help you and also help myself because help by helping you, I'm helping myself to take it to another level. Let's take this year and let's do what we have to do in order to move to the next level. So with that said, good people, take care, get better every day, read a little bit every day, try something different uh, every day. And that's all I have to say. So until next time, signing off.